Mighty One, Israel's Redeemer, I must confess to you. I hate Passover. I know I'm wrong and I am grateful that we were freed from slavery and that through Moses you gave us our law. I hate the crowds, the smells, the noise and the atmosphere around Jerusalem. Forgive me. I know I am unworthy. I feel I should be honest. The terrified animals that squeal and scream make me shudder as they await sacrifice. The smell of death hangs over the temple. Our rabbi said it is a reminder of what it was like in Egypt when we were not free. It all chills me from within. There's the smell of people closely packed together. Feet, sweat, stale perfume and cheap food. It makes me feel sick. I ask forgiveness, but I try to speak truth. But today was different. This year was even worse. The Romans carried out three crucifixions. The crowd was swelling and people were jeering. At first I was swept along and knowing how I hate these scenes, I strove to be free. But I heard someone say, that's Jesus. Now I've heard about him. He's supposed to be a healer or a prophet. I looked over and saw his face. I was mesmerised. It was a face that carried pain and showed love. Eyes that wept selflessly. A face determined to fulfil, to survive, and that seemed to be full of prayer. It was gripping. It was awful. It was tragic. I hate crucifixions, the baying crowd, the cruel Romans, the hysteria, the pain. They are degrading. I always avoid them as I just weep and squirm. But this was different. This Jesus was in pain. But it was a deeper pain. He staggered and sighed but he just seemed innocent. I had to follow. I stood away from the crowds, but I heard Jesus cry out, Father, forgive them. The other two criminals were cursing and screaming. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. Who does that, Lord? I felt pulled towards him. Ruth, my friend, said Martha, her friend, believes this Jesus is the Messiah. I thought at the time she was being ridiculous. There are always healers and charlatans who try to exploit the gullible. This man was no charlatan. He was utterly sincere. He died quite quickly for one crucified. A Roman soldier speared him. I saw the flow of blood and water. There were friends around him who wept at his death. The sky darkened. Just before he died, Jesus quoted a psalm. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? What sort of man prays and quotes our scriptures when he is in that kind of agony? I can't get the sounds and images of this Jesus out of my mind, Lord. I still hate Passover, but this is one year I shan't forget. I think I'll talk to Ruth and find out more about who this Jesus was. I ask your forgiveness. <laughs>